Fukushima. What? Yeah, it's crazy. You haven't heard? What? what? I'm sorry, but I have to say this. Learn to be consistent with aspect ratios. The camera in portrait mode sucks. In video, please, for future filmmakers watching this, use widescreen, not portrait. This reaction happened after the earthquake and tsunami in Japan. Okay, an earthquake and a tsunami happened. What does that have to do with nuclear power being bad? Since the plant lost all its power, they had to go under battery. Yes, battery power. It's a backup power source. A lot of things use backups. Solar panels use batteries to store energy, along with wind and other alternative energy sources. So how is being on battery power a bad thing if it means the reactor won't get damaged even more? Each reactor blew up one by one, releasing iodine in 131 and sesame in 137. Nuclear reactors cannot blow up. They can't. They are not designed like a nuke, for God's sakes. Simple nuclear physics here. A nuclear bomb is designed to disperse a large amount of energy quickly. A nuclear reactor, on the other hand, does the opposite. It is designed to sustain a long chain reaction, thus allowing water to boil, to turn into steam, and to power turbines that then power houses and cities. The reactor itself was only damaged because of the diesel generators that supplied power to the cooling system. They were damaged, leading to the reactor overheating. Hydrogen was accumulating in the wet well, and it reached a certain point where it was vented into a sparse steel frame structure at the top of the building. It was only a matter of time before the hydrogen reached a level where it would detonate. And one after another, the first unit, then the third unit, and finally the second unit suffered hydrogen explosions that blew off the steel panels and left the top of the reactor building exposed, end quote. The reactor itself did not explode. The accumulation of hydrogen, not a radioactive element like uranium, caused the chemical explosion, the hydrogen, is the cause of the Fukushima explosion, not the misleading way these kids are trying to spin it as. There was alpha decay, which led to an exothermic reaction. And the question arose to ask who, is nuclear power even safe? Yes, quite safe. Older reactors that are Gen 2 are not as safe as the new Gen 3 reactors. Gen 3 reactors are proven to be more safe and reliable than Gen 2 reactors. Also, the Fukushima reactor was built in 1976, and this was before Gen 3 reactors, meaning Fukushima was a Gen 2 power plant. Also, only one Gen 2 power plant will come online in the US in the foreseeable future, and after that, Gen 3 will supersede it. And, designers are coming up with Gen 4 reactors that will improve on Gen 3 reactors. Nuclear power is not safe. Although this process generates a lot of energy, there are many more cons that outweigh the pros. Nuclear reactors. When this type of reaction occurs, there are many waste products that are created, and these waste products have half-lives of millions of years. Come on, not even remotely close. Okay, according to the NRC, quote, Some isotopes decay in hours or even minutes, but others decay very slowly. Strontium-90 and cesium-137 have half-lives around 30 years. Half of the radioactivity will decay in 30 years. Plutonium-239 has a half-life of 24,000 years, and Quote. The leftovers they're talking about are more likely to last thousands of years as opposed to the millions of years they're talking about. And the source I quoted is the NRC. And they're talking about high level waste radiation, the type of waste that could kill you very fast. So this is the same waste that the kids in this video are talking about as well, but it actually, plutonium-239, would only last for 24,000 years, as opposed to the millions of years they like to say. So, they won't decompose for... D yeah. ever! The waste products that are given off are obviously radioactive, and that's very dangerous to humans. Since nuclear energy isn't safe... The problem with your statement is nuclear energy is safe, and as technology improves, it becomes more reliable. Take, for example, thorium reactors. They are much safer than conventional reactors. Thorium has to have two elements to react. 
thorium and plutonium. If you remove the plutonium, the reactor will not melt down. Thorium will eventually replace uranium and plutonium, making it safe and cheaper. Nuclear energy releases zero carbon emissions, and the next thing I will say will shock you. But first, I would like to shout out Shane Killian for his quickie on nuclear power, and I credit him for referring me to his source. Coal power plants release more radioactive material into the air than nuclear power plants in a six month period, even when we count nuclear disasters. So I would clearly bet on the nuclear power there. It seems like coal power is doing a lot more damage than nuclear power could ever do. What should we use instead? Here are some alternatives. We can use sources of energy such as solar power, wind power, geothermal energy, and tidal energy instead of nuclear power. Geothermal energy is valid as a power source, but what I have a problem with is they're writing off of a remarkable piece of science in favor for less efficient ways of reducing carbon emissions. Here's how I would go about it as an ANCAP. In Ancapistan, the free market could innovate, allowing for safer nuclear reactors, plus the free market could research new ways to manufacture solar solar and wind, reducing emissions. Nuclear power would form the backbone of power needs, as it is cheap and reliable. And those who want to use wind and solar can choose that if they want to. But if we go with nuclear power, along with allowing the free market to innovate, we can have both, and both ways would reduce carbon emissions by a huge margin. But we can't afford to abandon nuclear power just because older gen plants went bust. Science will find a way of making nuclear power safer, and time will tell. These sources of energy are good for the environment and do not harm it, unlike nuclear power. Again, false. She is appealing to emotion versus using facts and evidence. The evidence shows nuclear power could solve global climate change. Why should we abandon a life-saving solution that could save millions of lives just because some people don't like it? That doesn't make sense to me. I think we should be allowed to use any means to reduce carbon emission as long as it's voluntary and it aligns with the free market. Nuclear power aligns with such a means. It doesn't require dumbass carbon taxes. It doesn't require methods that would use force. Nuclear power could easily solve global climate change here through voluntary means without government. So why should we give up? Why should we give up on that? Why? Give me one reason why should we give me one reason why we should abandon nuclear power. Give me one. Mm. Well <laughs> It's the seed of opinions. <laughs> <laughs>well that was a cringy video by environmentalists that know nothing about nuclear power all the sources i referenced are down below and also check out shane's channel the link is a card on the screen click on it and check out his videos also if you have any videos of cringy environmentalists trying to make nuclear power or technology in general out to be evil send me the link i may debunk it also please donate to my patreon or my bitcoin wallet but if you can't do that just subscribe any bit helps the channel, be it liking a video or subscribing. Uh, love you guys and have a awesome week.